So often we just tie on the lure and start working down the bank, but if we're using crankbaits, we are missing a ton of fish. Out of all the lures and presentations that are out there in the bass fishing world, it seems like crankbaits are more dependent on angles than about anything else that I use. For example, if we're trying to catch schooling bass, if you don't bring that crankbait at the right angle, you may not get any bites, but if you find out what that angle is, the action can be fast, furious, and aggressive. Now, as far as crankbait fishing and angles, there is a slight difference between fishing crankbaits in shallower water and deeper or offshore water, but it can be done with both. Okay, so let's start off with shallow water crankbait fishing. So as I mentioned earlier, it's so easy to fall into that trap of just casting down the shoreline and hitting things the way that we always do. Well, let's say that we are approaching a dock, okay? This is a great example for multiple angles. Let's say I'm using a square bill. Of course, we can run it down both sides and we can run it across parallel across the front of the dock. But one thing that is often not done, if you've got room, go ahead and get those boats up close to the shoreline or if you're a bank angler you've already got this just nailed perfectly but get as close to that shoreline as you can and bring that lure from deeper water to shallower water if you if you watch much professional fishing you see pros doing this all the time they'll be fishing docks but have their boats right up tight on the bank either to get behind it or to hit it from a different angle bass naturally pin bait fish from deep to shallow water and that makes sense to the feeding instincts of the bass that you can pin the prey species three ways up tight against the bank on the bottom and then the surface of the water also traps them so give that a shot if you're a shallow water angler and you can also apply this to fishing lay downs funnels pinch points all of that type of stuff now if you're fishing deeper water or more offshore this is definitely easier to do let's say that we've got a traditional tapering point so often we'll have our boat out there throw up shallow and then just bring it straight back to us well a, a big point is a perfect place to investigate as many angles as possible you can start shallow up on one side work your way all the way around this point and just hit it from all these different radius these different directions and you might find a rock down there or a little bit of a a ledge where the point falls off deeper on one side or maybe there's a stump down there you're looking for that perfect angle and deflection and it's worth that time and effort to investigate each of these as opposed to put three or four casts on it and then go ahead and move off down to another one. Crankbait angles also is extremely important when ledge fishing. I can't even tell you how many times I'd be fishing ledges, creek channels, and you make a cast, make a cast, nothing, 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 and all of a sudden you get a bite. You get that one cast and boy, you've got to put that lure back in just a small, area that is the particular angle at that point in time that is creating the right action hitting the right bottom composition creating the right deflections that trigger the fish to bite this is also extremely effective when you're fishing bridges boy bridges have got so many places that we can adjust our angles and come from all directions your best bridge bass anglers understand this and use it to their advantage all the time uh, rip wrap embankments is another perfect example of take that time to hit it multiple directions and from multiple angles and hey if you'd like to watch a video that talks about a couple things that also may be holding your crankbait angling back go ahead and check this one out right here and make sure that you go out and encourage someone today you never know how you might just change their life for the Bass Fishing Life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.